Let us go to pattern differentiation. The topic is TCM diagnosis, part three. Essential questions for TCM pattern diagnosis. In the next slides, we, we will be looking at a table that lists groups of signs and symptoms frequently encountered in the clinical practice and its most common co correspondence to TCM patterns. They should always be investigated and considered of relevant importance for diagnosis and treatment in TCM. So here we will look at a table with its main clinical manifestations and its principal related patterns. If there's lumbago, heat in palms and feet or cold feet, knee pain and impotence, that is a pattern of kidney deficiency. With, where there's depression, irritability, indecision, stubbornness, bitter mouth and costal pain, that may be liver stagnation or deficiency patterns. For, when there's palpitations, anxiety and insomnia, that's heart patterns, abdominal distension, poor appetite, fatigue, inflammation, and loose stools, is spleen and stomach patterns. If there's cough, phlegm, stuffy nose, sneezing, itchy nose, throat, ears or eyes, thoracic pain or oppression, skin disorders, that is a lung pattern. If there's headache, depending on the location, could be yang channels, wind, chi, and blood dynamic, wind cold invasions to tai yang, or liver yang hyperactivity. There's epigastric pain, hollow sensation in the mouth of the stomach, nausea, vomiting, heartburn, appetite, or meal food preferences. Could be stomach or spleen, stomach chi counterflowing upward, or liver stomach disharmony. If there are sleep disorders, that's a pattern of the heart, liver, kidney, and spleen. If there's fatigue, depending on time of occurrence, it could be kidneys and spleen syndromes. For thirst with or without desire for fluids, that's heat and dampness patterns. If there's dry skin, forgetfulness, hair loss, constipation, numbness of the limbs, tendency to hypotension, loss of eyesight, excessive dreaming, difficulty in sustaining activity or effort, shoulder pain, difficulty raising the arms or back pain, that's blood deficiency. When there is sweat, that's a lung or heart pattern, chi deficiency or yin deficiency. For urination, painful urinary dribbling patterns, damp heat patterns, kidney yin or kidney yang patterns. For disturbances in menstruation like leukorrhea, that's blood patterns that could be cold, heat, deficiency and stagnation or dampness. Thank you so much for your attention.